Hello, plant lovers. Are you ready to add a little magic to your garden? In today's video, we'll bring you fresh inspiration for planting and propagating your favorite plants. From tiny sprouts to thriving blooms, we'll share tips and secrets that will make your garden flourish like never before. Let's get started. First, let's prepare a natural rooting mixture using simple, everyday ingredients you probably already have at home. Here we have rice, a simple ingredient that's not only a staple in our kitchens, but also a secret helper for natural plant rooting. Take three tablespoons of rice and soak them in 300 milliliters of water. Let it sit for a few hours or overnight. This rice water is full of natural nutrients that can help stimulate root growth and strengthen young plants. To boost the effectiveness for your cuttings, add a tablespoon of molasses to the rice water. Molasses is rich in natural sugars and minerals that provide energy for the cuttings, encouraging faster root growth and stronger, healthier plants. This simple addition can make a big difference in helping your plants thrive. Stir well so all the nutrients mix and dissolve into the water. Then cover the mixture and let it rest for a few hours or overnight. Here we have some sprouted potatoes. Don't rush to throw them away, while they may not be good for human consumption. These sprouts are actually amazing for your plants. Packed with natural hormones and nutrients, they can give your cuttings a strong and healthy start. Just five to seven small sprouts like these are enough to create an unexpected little miracle for your cuttings. I'm curious where are you watching this video from? I'd love to know. My hope is to spread the love of nature to everyone all around the world. And if this is your first time joining us on our little garden journey, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications. Your support helps us share more tips, inspiration, and a little bit of green magic with everyone who loves plants. After soaking for a few hours or overnight, it's now time to use our rice and molasses mixture for the cuttings. Pour the mixture over the potato sprouts and get ready to blend the sprouts into the mixture until smooth. Crushing the sprouts releases their natural hormones and nutrients into the solution, creating a powerful, all-natural rooting liquid that will help your cuttings develop strong and healthy roots. In addition to English, this video is also dubbed in multiple international languages including French, German, Spanish, Portuguese, Japanese, Hindi, Dutch, Polish, Italian, and Indonesian. We've added subtitles for you to enjoy the video in your preferred language. Simply click the CC button and select the language you want. Once the rooting mixture is ready, it's time to treat the cuttings and get them prepared for planting. When selecting rose cuttings for propagation, it's important to choose healthy, strong stems. The ideal length for rose cuttings is between 15 and 20 cm. Trim off most of the leaves, leaving only one or two at the top to reduce water loss and help the cutting focus on root. Development if you notice any petals that are wilted or damaged, be sure to remove them immediately. This helps the cutting focus its energy on growing healthy roots. Choosing the right cutting is the first step to ensuring your new rose plant grows strong and healthy. Use a clean, sharp knife or pruning tool to neatly trim the rose cutting. Then, Make a diagonal cut at the base at a 45 degree angle to increase the surface area for root development. And now, let's soak our rose cuttings in the rooting mixture for about one to two hours before we proceed with planting them. This allows the cuttings to absorb the nutrients and hormones 
giving them a strong start for root growth. While we wait, let's prepare the planting medium for our cuttings. A well-prepared medium is essential for supporting root growth and keeping the cuttings healthy. Clean sand is the ideal choice for starting rose cuttings. It provides excellent drainage, prevents waterlogging, and creates a stable environment for roots to develop. Use a recycled plastic cup with drainage holes to hold the sand. This helps excess water escape and keeps the cuttings from sitting in soggy conditions. After soaking for one to two hours, remove the rose cuttings from the rooting solution and get them ready for planting. First, strain out any solid residues from the rooting mixture and collect the clear liquid. This nutrient-rich liquid can then be used to water the planting medium. This simple mix of potato sprouts, molasses, and rice is a natural powerhouse, helping cuttings grow strong healthy roots faster. Now, let's use the mixture to moisten the sand we've prepared. This will create a perfect, nutrient-rich environment for our rose cuttings. Slowly pour the root-boosting mixture over the sand until it becomes evenly moist. Our cup of moist sand is now ready, like a soft and nurturing bed. Waiting to embrace the rose cutting. Gently insert the rose cutting into the prepared sand. Press the sand lightly around the base to secure it, helping the cutting stay firm and upright. Next, take a clean cup with small ventilation holes and place it over the rose cutting. This will act like a mini greenhouse, creating a humid yet breathable environment that keeps the cutting moist and encourages healthy root development. Now, place the rose cutting in a shaded spot, away from direct sunlight. In this calm and gentle environment, the cutting will begin its important task, developing its first tender roots, laying the foundation for new life. After just one to two months of patient care, This is the well-deserved reward for your efforts, healthy new shoots, marking the beginning of a brand new rose plant. Fresh green shoots are stretching out vigorously from the leaf nodes, like little arrows of life reaching toward the light. This is the clearest sign that our cutting has successfully rooted. Our rose stem has now taken hold, absorbed the nutrients, and begun a brand new journey full of hope. And now, let's gently lift the rose cutting out of the sand cup. Hold the base carefully and pull it out slowly to avoid breaking the tender roots. As the cutting comes out, you'll notice tiny white roots clinging to the sand. A wonderful sign of new life born from your patience and care. What a wonderful journey this has been. From simple potato sprouts, rice, and molasses. We created a natural rooting solution that brought new life to our rose cuttings. This is more than just gardening, it's about patience, love for nature, and the magic of growth. Now, let's give our young rose plant a brand new home. A bigger pot, filled with nutrient-rich soil, will allow the roots to spread freely and grow stronger. While the stems and leaves reach higher and healthier, this is an important step that helps your rose cutting adapt, thrive, and prepare to bloom with stunning flowers. When you place the plant into the new pot, gently cover the roots with soil. Press lightly to keep it firm. And once our young rose plant has settled into its new home, you should trim off any flowers. 
Right after trimming the flowers, sprinkle a little turmeric powder onto the cut. Turmeric has natural antibacterial properties that help protect the wound, prevent rotting, and speed up the healing process. This simple yet powerful trick will support your rose cutting to grow stronger and healthier. Finally, use a spray bottle to mist the soil. This gentle watering method keeps the soil moist without waterlogging, creating the perfect environment for young roots to breathe and grow. Maintain consistent moisture every day, and soon you'll see your rose cutting thrive beautifully. Thank you so much for being here, and I'll see you in the next video, where together we'll keep planting seeds of green for life.